PhD is demanding. It's full of milestones, full of deadlines. You have to deliver every now and then. You have deadlines to meet, internal deadlines to meet. You have to publish consistently. You got to deliver, you have to make presentations, attend conferences. PhD can really take over your life. It is really, really, it can be really stressful, but you should be able to know how to manage that. Stress is really not good for your body because I feel it is like poison. It affects your mind, your body, your soul, and you don't want to be in that frame of mind where you're constantly in a sense of stress as to, oh, I'm not able to deliver, or oh, I think I'm, uh, I'm not progressing much in my PhD. You kind of start feeling guilty that you've been wasting your time. And this happens, it has happened to me, and I've seen it happen to my students as well. But there is a way, and you should follow that to to learn how to manage stress. You know, it is not something that you cannot do. It is just a kind of a new experience that you have. You know, you don't know how to deal with it. So in, in this video, what I'm gonna share is different ways in which you can handle stress. But before we begin, let me introduce myself. My name is Vidhi Potar. I'm an associate professor and you're watching a series of talks aimed at understanding the PhD process. I want to help you in your PhD journey and want to make it a memorable one. So if you're ready, let's begin. In this video, I'm going to share you some ideas on how you can manage stress while completing your PhD. One of the easiest way is start a hobby. Start something creative that you like that will take your mind off your PhD, off your PhD program. One thing that really worked for me was to doing yoga and meditation during, during the PhD and even now. It is kind of an interesting experience that you're kind of completely out of your uh, PhD zone and into something different. You could also start going to the gym, start exercising, maybe cycling or swimming, whatever you like, but do something different. Do something different every day so that you're not kind of, you, you get your own time. I have seen PhD students spending a lot of time in their lab, uh, not, not, not socializing. Maybe it's, once in a while it's a good idea to go out and talk to people, have, uh, go out and help somebody, you know, just, just get yourself away from the PhD, PhD zone and do something different. It is also interesting to work with a supportive research team. Uh, if you have friends or uh, some uh, or other researchers within your within your lab, maybe work with them, have a chat with them. That environment plays a very important role as well to de-stress yourself. 